Hello, welcome to my channel and to the eighth and final week of the Magical Christmas Collaboration hosted by Danielle Pink Zebra the Unicorn Crafter. I will be listing all of the other participants in the description box below. I'm Sheena Lee, Healing Montana Nana. I have been very ill for the past couple of weeks, so today I am strictly doing a project share. If you would be interested in a tutorial on the items that I've made today, please leave a comment below. Here are some of the items that I have used to create my gift box and my card. The paper pad is a hot buy from Michaels by Craftsmart and it is the Ms. Claus. And then I also use this stamp set from Crafter's Companion and it is part of the Enchanted Christmas Collection. I created this diagonal easel card. I love these cards. They're a lot of fun and add a little twist on the traditional easel card. I created this one in 5x5. Five five. It is best to use a square card when creating these. On the front of the card I have part of one of the 6x6 six six cut aparts and I also fussy cut this wreath from one of the cut aparts and stamped it with wishing you a magical Christmas. I stickled the snowflakes in the stamp sentiment. I put a double mat on the inside and stamped it with sparkle all the way. I also stickled the snowflakes in that sentiment. And this is also fussy cut from one of the cut aparts. I popped that up on foam dots so that it works as the catch for the easel. Easel cards are so nice for displaying with your other Christmas cards. And here is the gift box I created. It is also five by five and one and a half inches tall. I double matted all of the exterior of the box with the exception of the bottom. It just has a single mat. This box has a surprise inside. It is a napkin fold box. You can create these boxes in any square size that you require. I've done one that's deeper and uh, will hold more, but this holds a surprising amount of volume. And I included in with this an ornament, a little taste of Montana, and a package of my ornament hangers. Like the outside of the box, I have double matted most of the surfaces, and on the bottom is one of the cut aparts and stamped it with wishing you a magical Christmas same as what's on the front of the card since it is a matching set. I will also be adding some shred to the inside of this box for shipping so that things don't move around too much inside. I did not decorate my packaging since the box is pretty labor intensive and I'm not feeling well. Once you load your items into the box, you just close up your napkin fold. And with the items inside, the napkin fold wants to push up. So I am also tying this box closed with a ribbon. It is actually kind of nice how the napkin fold wants to push open so that when your recipient lifts the lid, it kind of opens out and gives a bit of a surprise.
and here is what my gift set looks like with the ribbon on it. This set is going to Danielle because I haven't been able to craft more than a few minutes at a time. This is super late for her challenge giveaway for her birthday. I'm making a similar set for Marty or Ralela Creates. They did a co-birthday challenge. I'm not upset that I'm not getting in on their challenge giveaway. It is much more important to me to create things and send them to my friends. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this project share and for joining us on the Magical Christmas Collab. Don't forget to visit all the other participants that I have listed. I also want to thank Danielle Pink Zebra the Unicorn Crafter for hosting this fun collaboration. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, and you have a great day and a blessed Christmas. I will see you with my next video, which is going to be a very special challenge giveaway announcement. And now I am off to urgent care.